Jonathan Ray then uh, flashing through towards the uh, middle phase of this lap. He has uh, looked good in the first sector, little doubt about that. He's got Scott Redding uh, behind him as they make their way through the hairpins now and to the end of this lap. Three and a half minutes still on the clock. Jonathan Ray, remember, has set the fastest time of this session so far. 1 minute 26.657. Picked up the 100th front row start of his career. Last time out in Mizano. Jonathan Ray, who's bidding for pole. It's a 1 minute 26.230. And it is a new lap record here at Donington Park. Smashing the previous figure set by former teammate Tom Sykes. Ray improving. Reading also improving. And really setting a high bar now for the likes of Alvaro Bautista and top rack Raz Gatlioglu, both championship contenders. Tenders. Garrett Gerloff here uh, runs wide and this lap may well now go away from him. He was looking good to move up at least onto the second row of the grid. Garrett Gerloff currently down in ninth. You can set two fast times with the Q tyre though, so Gerloff still with time left in this session, even with that mistake into the Melbourne loop, might still be able to do something. Shortest uh, lap on the calendar here at uh, Donington Park as far as the Superbike World Championship is concerned. Gerloff still manages to set a personal best and move eighth uh, despite that error, so there's more to come from him, little doubt about that. More to come too from the likes of top rack Raz Gatlioglu and Alex Lowe's. We're watching Michael Ruben Rinaldi currently down in ninth place. He moves up provisionally onto the second row of the grid, although he may well now be displaced by Alex Lowe's. Top rack Raz Gatlioglu slots in between Jonathan Ray and Scott Redding into P2. Lowe's with an opportunity to improve here and to make it back onto the front row of the grid for the second time this season. He goes P2. It's Ray and Lowe's for a KRT 1-2. Yeah, all four riders at the top of the times all underneath lap record pace as well coming into this session. Jonathan Ray He's into the last corner at Goddard's. He could go even faster. Jonathan Ray then leads the way with a 126.230, up by 15 thousandths after three. He has found more time, more than a quarter of a second now, faster than Alex Lowe's. A 1 minute 26.080. Outstanding performance from Jonathan Ray, uh, not least to make that uh, Q tyre last for another lap. There have been discussions at the end of Friday that that qualifying tyre could be an option over the Tissot Super Bowl race distance tomorrow. Garrett Gerloff into the final sector. He's been pushed all the way down to 12th position by other riders improving around him, the likes of Philip Urkel, who's gone up into 10th. So really important for Gerloff to hook it up through the hairpins this time around and propel himself back into contention because from down in 12th position, it really would be a tough weekend for the Texan. Gerloff on the 31, then drives to the line. It's good enough for 7th. It's a place on the third row of the grid for Garrett Gerloff, but not better. And uh, he may well be disappointed about that. He may still drop further back with uh, Michael Ruben Rinaldi now into the final sector. Alvaro Bautista also looking to improve. He's currently in fifth. Can he get back onto the front row of the grid? He makes his way now across the line and it uh, looks like an improved time, but uh, not an improved position. So 30 seconds to go. And it's Ray Lowe's and Raz Gatlioglu on row one. Reading Bautista and Rinaldi on row two. Lekuona, Gerloff and Locatelli on row three. And Gerloff's lost one and a half tenths of a second through the first sector of what's going to be his final flying lap. So it doesn't look like he's going to be able to improve any further. Rinaldi and Raz Gatlioglu both up on their personal best so there is still some potential movement as we head now towards the checkered flag here at Donington Park yeah what's really interesting right now as well is Scott Redding fast of all in the first sector Raz Gurioglu in the second sector Lowe's in the third sector and then Jonathan Ray making his lap time in that last sector but expect that Ray's obviously very consistent across all three sectors but it does show that all the different bikes and riders are working well in different areas of the track as well and that's why we've got a lot of closely matched riders even if you've got the Kawasaki's four tenths of a second out in front at the top of the timesheets we're seeing as well a few riders on course for personal best at the end of the session but no one really on course to challenge anyone at the front of the field Baz is out there on a lap trying to move himself up onto the top five of the grid but uh, you can see here top rack just uh, coming down into the loop let's keep an eye on Baz's time so he's just coming into the last couple of corners Top rack, Raz Gatlioglu, three tenths of a second down. And uh, remember, uh, Alex Lowe's was only three quarters of a second down on Jonathan Ray. So unlikely that uh, Raz Gatlioglu is going to improve. Loris Bass is certainly going to improve because he's at the back at the moment. Uh, an opportunity to move up towards the fringes of the top ten, which would be the target for him here. A little bit of traffic, though, for him on that uh, final sector. So we'll see what Baz can do as he comes across the line. We'll keep an eye on our timing screens. And uh, Baz moves up to 13th fastest, so up there in the top five rows of the grid. Just being knocked back by Taz McKenzie now.